Welcome to Think Alive. We're Sharon and Andy, just two people with a dream and a vision of restoring our traditional stone-built farmhouse in southern Spain, transforming it into a beautiful off-grid home and sharing our journey with you. Good morning. Welcome back everyone. Welcome back to the Finca on a beautiful November day. Beautiful cut t-shirt. Absolutely gorgeous, yeah. As you can see we're still battling with that wood. <laughs> yes. um, I'm mainly trying to get the thick, some of them are like this thick and as I said before once they dry out there's no way you're cutting them with the chainsaw and even the little reciprocating saw which does cut the dead stuff really well it's not long enough to go through them so my priority is getting them chopped up we're nearly through them we're about yes. halfway through it i yeah, think yeah not doing bad a nice, there's a couple of ton there which is a result yeah, yeah. absolutely it's free free <laughs> free yeah so it's worth the effort so anyway i think um in between doing that i'm not going to do battle with it all day and all everything because we're going to crack on with the kitchen yeah. so i think the, the hallway or the kitchen or well i'm still in i want to give that oh you're in a passageway uh, the other one another coat yes yeah, just, just needs one more i think I'll we're just a bit then. like that with it so shall we crack on let's do it right so back on we we'll get that wall finished in the between the passage and the office um, i've got this mix it's been here for two days luckily it was dry um so i'm just going to knock it up and uh, go and get cracking in question. Um, the other side is done. We've got these a pump. I'm gonna wet it down as always. Um, I've got a bucket of stones, a bucket of water. Um, see if we can get it looking pretty. There we go. And so while Sandy's doing the other side of the wall, I'm going to give this another coat. As I said before, that, that wall's actually okay, but I'm not 100% happy with this. So we'll give it another coat. Not the best light in here, I'm afraid. A few holes need filling in. Oh, it's not wanting to stick today. There we go. Give them a little tapping, not too hard. We don't want to knock it down, it's still quite fresh. <laughs> it's like I've got a fly for company, if you can hear that buzzing about. November, and we've still got flies. Well, this wall is looking pretty good after another coat um, and it's not even dry yet. So yeah, fingers crossed that when that dry it's going to be perfect and we can move on. 
and I'm about halfway up this side and thereabouts and um, it's taking longer than expected as things always do as there are quite a lot of holes in it because I actually built it focusing from the other side um, there's more holes in this side but this side is going to be less visible it's going to be the office um, so, <laughs> so keep whacking them in keep pointing it up where's my hammer there it is go flick Well, not good. Um, I've run out of mix. That bit to do. Um, amazing, really. Normally, a full mix will do a square meter or, or so, something like that. Um, so, yes, not very happy. But I'm not doing another one today um, because it's getting late now, and I'll carry it in the morning. Super. This wall's dried out fantastic this morning. Um, so that's that ticked off, and we're ticking the box. Um, I'm going to get the other side of this done and today and then there's just a little bit on the other side of this pillar here that needs finishing before we start the marathon that is the the final wall in the in the old kitchen before that though i'm going to get some more of this firewood process keep chipping away at it it'll soon be done <laughs> Well, I think that's all the thickest ones done. Um, the rest should be easy going now because they're a lot thinner, thinner, I say like six inches um, under a 50 mil. Um, so I'm just going to get a mix on now, get this top bit finished off, and um, carry on with this. Well, we've just had a visit from our local farmer neighbour, Emilio. Um, we had concerns. We've got these lovely cactus growing along the front of the house. Um, but we've been a bit concerned because if you see the one on the left, it's not looking very healthy. Um, 
At first we thought maybe when he was strumming, because he's constantly strumming, bless him, that he might have caught it and so we've not said anything to him but he's actually noticed it himself and come to tell us this morning. Um, apparently there's a massive problem in the area with a black weevil that attacks these cactuses and they are all dying off um, slowly. So if I can move in and show you this one. And you see where it's all rotten inside. They literally get in and they just eat it away from the inside and um, yeah, kills them off. Um, fortunately, we've got lots of little babies, there's Tabby Cat, lots of little babies that just seem to spring up. So Emilio said he's going to come back this afternoon and take them all out, the big ones and the diseased ones, which is a bit of a shame because this one's not looking too bad, but he said it will be coming infested. Um, to give the little ones a chance, some more here, give the little ones a chance to survive. Um, so that's a bit sad, um, but thank you Emilio for spotting it. As I say we hadn't said anything to him because at first we thought maybe he'd done it accidentally with his strimmer when he strims the weeds um, but no. So there's a bit more here that he's ripped off. You see the one just at the back of the tomatoes has suffered as well. So thought we'd share that with you. So just before I do the wall there's a little nickage here that we want to get filled in so we can paint the inside of this there's going to be a sliding door going on the inside here if we finish up to there there's another bit of that room finished so i'll let that go off it needs building up into several layers and i'm going to carry on with the wall And while I was at it out there, then we've got one of the potato plants that had died off, so I thought I'd have a dig and see what we'd got. So it's not a huge harvest, but um, it's okay because it was out of that sack of potatoes that had all sprouted that were all going in the bin anyway, so anything that we get is a bonus. Um, little tiny one there is a, a bit green, so I'm not sure about that one. I think that one can go. But yeah, so. Happy days. That's where said potato was. I've just planted another one. So that's the idea as we harvest, we plant some more. Hopefully keep us going over the winter. Here's another one that's ready really for harvesting. Um, it's all died off as you can see. Um, but we're gonna leave, it, leave them in the pot for now because we don't need them. I think they keep better in the soil, to be honest. Um, <laughs> the rocket's gone mad. That was a little bit that self-seeded and I just left in to grow. Um, amazing, really. Right, it's finally finished. This bit's finally finished. Um, I'll come back to this in a bit, let that go off, sponge that off. And um, moving on, um, I've just got this little corner to finish at the bottom here and a little bit above the door as well. So we'll get to see if we can get that done. First of all, I'm just going to stick a couple of stones up top here um, and then go down the bottom. And then when I come back up here, they'll be set off enough to point them up. See what we've got. Right, this one should fit up there, I'll just add it in, yeah, give them a wet, make sure it sticks, <laughs> this is not the easiest thing in the world, there we go, he's in there, give him a tap, oh no, where's the hammer, it's here, it's still in the other room, 
can't come too low because the door won't shut. <laughs> right, well, let him go off a bit. Let's see if we can get a couple more in here. Right, well, that one go in there. Yes, I think so. I've just wet this, would you believe it? But um, it's drying out very quickly. Okay. Right, we'll come back to them, tidy them up in a minute. Right, so the pillar's done, and over the door, the light's just gone out, is done. So, all the stonework is done, apart from there's just this wall, another one of me just, just this wall left to do in the kitchen, um, which is super happy days. Well, we're forever deciding what to do next, um, but we think we're going to do this wall. Um, I don't know how bad it looks on the film but we've got some huge holes for example here the stones that big as big as my hand will fit nicely in there and disappear <laughs> it needs a lot a lot of big stones putting in it it's not in the greatest state so i think what we're going to do in the first instance is basically go and collect remember we had a massive pile of stones here yeah, ages ago that disappeared well we need to collect a similar amount of thing we've got a few down here big ones that will fill all these holes up and um bring it to some kind of uniformity um so we're gonna go and do that collect a load of stones i'm gonna nip into town i mean on these are lifting um he, he dumps his tractor in the local village but he can't get back home he lives in the town um his dad's not so well at the moment his dad normally picks him up but while I'm going, um, I need to pick up some lime because we need to make some more lime wash as well. We've used loads, as you've seen. We keep, we generally try to keep two buckets of it, and we've just emptied one. So we're gonna now we started on the second one, so we're gonna refill, replenish the first one. First of all, I think we need to move out what we don't need. Um, these are old clay tiles that we used to make the cooker hood. Few left. We're gonna keep these. Um, halves and things because we don't know if they're going to come in handy in the future we've got some bigger slabs there which are going to be in the floor so we'll get them out of the way and then bring our new pile of stones in here okay This is all that was left of that mountain that we had in here. Um, Going to get this all swept up now, cleaned up, ready, so we can get a good run out of it. Unfortunately, we don't need to look too far. Um, we've got a massive pile of stones here that we were keeping to when we take that door out and make it into a window. Obviously, we're going to have to stone up halfway, um, but there's plenty here, and um, it's ideal really to get some really good sizes. So that's good news for me, don't have to go too far. Um, they all, if you're wondering where they all came from, the uh, apartment, the old hayloft, when we had to knock through that wall um, to give access to both rooms. And also, of course, two windows that we put in there. Three, in fact, if you count the bathroom. So that's where they've all come from. But yeah, happy day, so I'll get collecting. We've got a good start there, um, it's surprising how they will disappear once we start doing this wall, um, but we, we're good to go for now. So I'm just going to have a bit of a sweep up, um, and, yeah, and then we can crack on. I'm back with the lime, and I also got 
a few bags of plants eh, while I'm at it in anticipation of putting the floor down in there. Don't get them out of the way. Okay. So before we go any further and um, we're going to make some lime wash right now save carrying it about and moving it about here's our vat it's empty there's a little bit of slosh in the bottom all we're going to do is um empty the two bags into it and um fill it up with water Ooh, get it over there first we're doing it out here because it's very dusty and it's not pleasant do now is cover this lime with water as easy as that so this is the one we're using at the moment just started on that that's a full one this is our new one and this is literally all we're going to do is just fill it up with water i think these are 50 liters or 30 liters i can't remember what we do we fill it up till the lime's covered and then it does absorb it, it does drop down quite a bit come back in a couple of days and check it as long as the lime's covered it won't go off, it won't set, it won't do anything you can see that absorbing down now it'll do a lot of bubbling in a bit once we get the second one, once we get the next lot in I'm not sure how much this holds but you can see it bubbling away now we'll give it a few minutes and then um, probably have to top it up a little bit more and it's not bubbling because it's having a reaction of anything or getting hot it's literally just the air that's trapped inside coming up from the bottom it doesn't get hot it's perfectly safe it's pretty inert um, it's just making a lime putty basically which is what we use for the lime wash coming back to the old one this is what we'll, we'll end up with um, if I can get any out just lime lime putty that's the stuff you can see it there I will wash my hands in a minute but yeah generally it's pretty harmless nice sticky putty so a couple of minutes later you can see the lime's exposed now it's still bubbling away so we'll top it up again so there's still a lot of air coming out of it but um, we can probably leave that now for, I don't know, half an hour, an hour or so. We'll come back and check it. And then again, come back and check it in a, in a couple of days just to make sure it's got liquid on the top and no lime exposed. Whilst the lime is bubbling away in the workshop, we're back in the old kitchen. I'm just about to get Henry out on this uh, wall opposite. Um, give that a good vacuuming so that we're ready for pointing first thing in the morning. Well, not pointing, we need to fill the stones first. Um, but in, in the meantime or shortly we're uh, off to have a look at an oven. Um, we've had 
various conversations. Um, we were going to buy one that was at eye level, um, but then we couldn't work out how we were going to finish the cabinet around it. So then we thought we'd just have the standard hob and a built-in oven. Um, but we've been looking and the cheapest is going to cost us about 600 euros. And as you know, we've just had a massive car bill. Um, so I was looking on Facebook Marketplace last night and came across um, almost identical to the one that we were looking to buy. Um, but it's uh, all in one. It's a freestanding cooker. Um, with five rings which is just what I needed because um, I do struggle when I've got several pans on the go at once with so particularly this one's only got three and two is only you can only use two at a time because the one in the middle you can't fit anything on there and um, the hop upstairs is four but that's not enough for me really so this one's five ring and um, it looks in excellent condition and it is an excellent price so we're going to have a look later keep your fingers crossed for us that it, it's good um, however that causes us a problem now because we were going to fit the oven under here on the hob in the top and now if it's a freestanding cooker we need to make some adaptations um, to the unit that we've only just built or Andy's kind of made stronger than it was originally um, so yeah we've got to get thinking caps on now guys and see what we can do to fit this oven in if it's okay so we'll keep you posted so in the meantime back on Henry's uh, overheated and I'm overheated. Um, the reason why we're hoovering these walls, I don't want you to think we're obsessive or anything, um, most of it is just filled with um, soil and loose rubble and of course the lime mortar won't stick to all this loose stuff so that's why it all needs a good hoover. Some of these holes your hand goes right in um, and it, it, there's just nothing there, it's just literally soil. So anyway, it's nice and clean now, ready for uh, filling in. And now I'm going to go and get changed because we're going to go and look at this oven, which is very exciting. Um, it's about an hour there and an hour back for us, so we need to leave any time soon. So we're going to end the video there for today, folks. Thank you so much for watching. Um, as always, if, you're inter if you like what you see and you've not already subscribed, please consider doing so. Click on the button below. Um, thank you to all our subscribers, all our Patreons, everyone that's bought us a coffee. And we'll see you on the next one.